Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Asus laptop, and in this video, I'll be doing the battery replacement for this. Let me tell you the situation I have with this laptop. Hopefully, you have the same situation, and that way you can determine whether it is the right thing to do by changing the battery or maybe something else. So, the laptop only turns on when it's plugged in. And when it's plugged in, I turn on the computer, it boots to the windows, right at the uh, bottom right corner, right next to the time and date, you can see the battery icon. When you mouse over the cursor on the battery icon, it says plugged in, not charging. So that tells me the battery is not holding the charge. And the second way to test it is, when the computer turns on, it boots to windows, as soon as you pull the plug, the computer died. That tells me the battery is not holding the charge. So it has to be plugged in to turn on. So in this video, I'll be doing the battery replacement. I'll take out the battery and then change out the new one. I do not have the new battery yet because I need to, you know, take it apart, look at the model and place an order on either Amazon or eBay. So, but I'll tell you the process on how to install if you have the battery uh, purchase ahead of time. Okay, so anyway, let me show you the model number. This is the Asus UX331F. This is the ZenBook model. And here I have the T5. This is the torque screwdriver. You need to remove all the torque screws and they are at the back of the, uh, the laptop. So let's go ahead and remove them. And sorry about the uh, screw. Um, it's making the squeezing uh, noise because the the head here is not lubricate enough or oh, it's too old I need to change a new screwdriver the screws are not all the same the only longer screws are the top here in the middle the rest of other screws are the shorter screws. So if you happen to mix match the screws, then you know it that the rest of rest of other screws are the same size. The only longer screws are the middle right here on the top. Once you remove them all, go ahead and pry open the back cover. It seems to be quite hard. So if it's too hard to pry open using the fingernail, I use the metal prying tool. I stick it underneath the corner. Hopefully I get a good... Uh, do not stick too deep. You do not want to damage the motherboard, right? So stick it just enough for you to uh, get the opening. So let's say this is the opening. Oh, I apologize. There might be other screws hidden underneath here. Let's take a look. Aha! Uh -huh. So there's screws hidden underneath, no wonder, no wonder it doesn't want to open. I apologize in advance, I always forgot to check the rubber underneath. Now I just realized. So you need to have a Phillips screwdriver on that. I don't think there is one at the bottom here. Now let's see if it comes up. Okay, so uh, just a quick recap. All the corners, the side of it are all using the torque screws. And there are two screws hidden underneath the rubber. You need to pry open the rubber and to get to the screws. And there are two Phillips screws. Here is the battery. And to remove the battery, let's see if there's any screws that's holding on to the battery. And this is the connector. We need to disconnect the battery first. You see this, uh, this rubber here is actually to leverage to make the uh, laptop stick out a little. So this is the leverage to level the back cover. And it has the double-sided tape on it. You just have to peel it off. Now this is the connector. Let's see how the connector is installed. 
it looks like it's a snap on so all you need to do is to lift it up right just to lift it up that's how you disconnect the uh, the connector so it's like a Lego is snap on to push it in to open you just have to lift it up now let's take a look at the battery the battery is held on by few screws here I see there's a Phillips screws that's one that's the second this is the speaker you somewhat need to disconnect the speaker the connector you just want to do is to slide it down okay slide down that connector and then work your way around it and there are more hidden screws underneath the rubber so remove the two screws Okay, so uh, let me just recap. I was thinking there might be hidden screws underneath here. The answer is no, there's no hidden under screws. The only four screws are left, two top, and one on the right. Once you remove the screw, you actually need to slide it away from the body. So this little two gap, this thing is latching onto the battery. So I was having some difficulty to remove it. Uh, because I was lifting straight up and straight up is not the right way to remove the battery You actually have to slide it away from your body. So you slide in Go slide in like this Okay, slide in on both sides and then it goes down and then to remove it you need to lift it up at a certain angle and then slide it away from your body okay so here's the model number of the battery and if you look carefully you can see that it says C41 N1715 so I will have the battery uh, link in the description below where it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay to find the battery replacement so this is how it looks like okay uh, so this is pretty pretty much uh, just the battery itself and again to remove it uh, you need to slide it at a certain angle to push it away from the direction okay now this is the entire um, motherboard and this is the CPU fan and this is just a CPU itself uh, the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard you can't add additional RAM in this case uh, this is pre-built this is how much you have and this is it here is your hard drive this is the m.2 ssd drive uh, if you want to increase the capacity of your drive you need to remove the m.2 and add additional ram to it now if you ask me where is the cmos battery that holds the uh, the bios if you want to reset your bios if you forgot your password uh, just so you know there's no cmos battery in this laptop everything is run off from the main battery if you disconnect the main battery for a long enough period of time I would say maybe like 5 or 10 minutes and that way you would reset the, the motherboard the time and date or the password okay now um, what else you can you add or replace uh, there's pretty much not not much you can do uh, in this model everything is all built in in one big piece uh, the only thing you can upgrade would be the M.2 drive or maybe change out the fan the rest of it not really so if you're gonna ask about the keyboard replacement I want to tell you that this laptop here uh, are not able to do a keyboard replacement because the keyboard is a is not a separate component if you take a look at the keyboard here it is 
all together one big piece with the palm rest and the touchpad. Okay, so if you have a bad keyboard, you would have to change out the whole thing. All right, I hope this video helps. Uh, my goal is to change out the battery. Uh, this is not a teardown video, I apologize, but hopefully I can explain and walk you through uh, if you want to do the, uh, uh, the teardown yourself or other repair. So if this, is, if this video helped, uh, i just like to ask a small favor if you can hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate you for doing that. And, um, and if you have any questions, comment below. I read all your comments and I do respond back to your comments. Uh, if you need help, just ask me about computer stuff and I'm more than happy to help you. Uh, until next time, please take care and uh, I wish you have a repair, a good success on your repair. Bye.